Hello, I'm Jamie Latour, and this is part two of our guide on finding every single skull in Halo Infinite. Now, we've already posted part one of this guide, so without further ado, let's jump right back into the thick of things and find the rest of these skulls. The Famine Skull reduces the ammo that you get from weapons that enemies drop. Who needs all that ammo anyway? By the time you get to the fourth region of the map, you'll likely be in the middle of a mission called The Sequence that requires you to go to four beacons. Near the beacon to the east is a tiny little patch of land that has your skull. The easiest way over is to take a wasp or a phantom and fly there. Search around the area, and you'll find the skull in the hand of a dead yellow elite. The Black Eye Skull makes it so your shields will only replenish after you smack an enemy in the face with a melee attack. Head to this point on the map and you'll find a misty lake that leads to a waterfall. Is there something hidden behind that waterfall? <laughs> of course there is. This is a video game. Grapple shot your way up to about the middle of the waterfall and you'll stumble across this small cave bathed in creepy red light. The skull will be inside, surrounded by brute corpses. Delightful. The Thunderstorm Skull increases the rank of enemies, making them tougher and stronger. Fly over to this point on the map to the west of the beacon to the north. After some searching, you should find a single pillar that's taller than the rest jutting out of the ground. Get on top and claim your skull. Now we're on to the final three skulls, which are all located within late game story missions. So if you miss these skulls, well, may God have mercy on your soul. The Mythic Skull increases enemy health and is found during a mission called the Command Spire. After a grav lift ride, you'll enter a big section where hexagonal pillars are sent through these giant flaming yellow gates. Fight your way through the Banished until you reach this part where the pillars turn to the right. Climb up the slanted platform and then grapple shot onto a pillar. Then quickly grapple shot up into the area above you. Keep going up until you find this blue door. Go inside and you got yourself a skull. The Grunt Birthday Party Skull is great because it makes confetti explode out of a grunt's head when you headshot them. It's the best. It's also one of the hardest skulls to get. It's found in the mission called Repository, and it requires a few steps to grab it. After you touch this relay and witness a cutscene full of torture and angry villain monologues, you'll notice two doors to the left and right of you. Grapple shot your way over to the right door first, and you'll find a power seed in a cradle inside. Now grapple shot back and go to the door on the left. Don't worry if you lose the power seed, as it will respawn back in the right room. On the left, you'll find a different cradle to place the seat. Do that, hear the helpful jingle, and continue on through the level normally. When you reach a room that looks like this, go through this now open window. That's with the power seat opened, and if you don't do that step, then this window remains closed, and that means no skull for you. Now you just need to pick up the skull after you deal with four invisible elites armed with energy swords. You know, no big deal. Use your threat sensor to keep track of their movements and kill them all. Now you've got a skull and all the energy swords you could ever want. The final skull is the Bandana Skull, which gives you unlimited ammo, grenades, and removes the cooldowns from your equipment. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's stashed away in a secret area within the final mission, the Silent Auditorium. There's just one rule you need to follow to get this skull. Do not kill a single sentinel. That's right, you can't harm any of those annoying flying drones that fire lasers at you. Initially, this will seem incredibly difficult since the sentinels will constantly blast you in the back while you're trying to kill other enemies, but if you remove your murder cap and put on your thinking cap, you'll realize that you can run past this whole section. If you fully upgraded your thruster ability, it'll give you a 4 second invisibility cloak. Use this to sneak past the enemies, allowing those dumb sentinels to live. If you succeeded in keeping them alive, you'll see this extra light bridge when you reach the area just before the final boss fight. If you don't see that, you gotta restart the whole mission, chief. Head through the door and you've got the 12th and final skull. Now that you have all of those skulls, you can create the wackiest game of Halo Infinite imaginable. <laughs> Look at all that confetti. Oh my god, where are my hands? For more Halo Infinite news and guides, grapple shot over to thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.